So we're wrapping up car of the year and we have the mid-engine Corvette one more day. We decided to take it to the real MPG test, but turns out that they don't have the right equipment for it. So our plan B is to go to the dyno. first question was what gear ratio to use. Yeah, we called Chris Walton. Chris's best guess was to do it in fifth gear. We did four runs in fifth gear, and then runs five and six were done in sixth gear. I was there with, with Angus, Angus McKenzie, who's our international bureau chief, and we did ridiculous numbers. In terms of torque, it went from 515 at the wheels, which means it's about 606 pound feet of torque at the crank. About 558 horsepower, which means after drivetrain losses, it's 650 horsepower. So I think the takeaway here is that the Corvette is producing about 150 more horsepower than what GM is telling us. We couldn't just sit on this and scratch our heads and, and say this is a ringer. So we called Chevy engineers to find out what was going on. And they actually found that this engine was well within tolerance, so there was nothing out of sorts with this thing. It wasn't super tuned. It was a very ordinary Corvette engine. So after the conversation with General Motors, uh, what we finally discovered is the difference between the SAE certified measurements that they're reporting and what we saw uh, is the, the methodology. The engine was certified by the Society of Automotive Engineers, the SAE. And so it, the SAE acts like a, as a third party and follows these super strict rules. A normal dyno pull, as, as you, you witnessed, you put the car on rollers and you tie it down and you run it. The SAE certified method, the car doesn't just accelerate quickly through its RPM range, but it, it goes through steps where it runs at certain RPM levels all the way up to redline. So that's much more stressful on, on the engine. It's generating a lot more heat. So you're going to end up with lower numbers. And so these 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque are given to Chevy, and so Chevy has to stick with those numbers. It's not Chevy coming out and saying, our car is making this. It's actually the Society of Automotive Engineers saying, this is how much your engine makes. Right, right. So which of these numbers is true? The 495 that Chevrolet is claiming or the 650 that we saw? I'm leaning more towards the 650 that we saw but also to make sure that the car that we got wasn't a ringer. We're gonna be following up with this story in the future. So once Corvette owners get their cars, we're gonna ask them to come into the same dyno. We'll pay for the dyno runs, and we'll see if their car is making the same amount of horsepower and torque numbers that our Corvette was making. Right, so it's 650 with a footnote. Yes, with an, an asterisk. Right. I mean, regardless if your Corvette has 495 horsepower or 650, you're still getting a really good car that's, that drives amazing. Yeah, a car that does 2.8 seconds to 60 miles per hour, that's the number that really matters.